Hi there, Falcons. Welcome to uh, another DI or direct instruction on how to all about temperature conversions. So in this DI or in this uh, short lesson, we'll be dealing with the KFC problems or Kelvin, Fahrenheit, and Celsius problems. So before we start, there may be some numbers which are signed. So uh, let's say if you have a negative number, because this is now uh, the activity where you're okay to use the calculator. So it must be that uh, you have a Chromebook in front of you now and a calculator. Or you can use your cell phone and there's always the calculator function. So if you have um, a negative value, let's say negative 10, for instance, what you can do would be to type in the number. And then do you see this sign on your calculator? You can press this so that you can see the negative sign before the number. Okay. So let me dive in into our uh, short lesson on temperature conversions. So KFC, not Kentucky Fried Chicken, but more on Kelvin, Fahrenheit, and Celsius. So you would be dealing with all of these formulas, okay? Celsius to Kelvin, you have K equals C plus 273. And this is another formula, Kelvin to Celsius. C is K minus 273. Or a problem on Celsius to Fahrenheit, that would be F equals 9 over 5C plus 32. And then another problem might involve converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. And that would be C equals 5 over 9 bracket F minus 32. Now, don't be overwhelmed because you have the formulas embedded or written down in uh, the worksheet. So let us dive into your classwork or assignment in Google Classroom. So open uh, Google Classroom now and click on KFC problems, right? And you are on this, okay? And sometimes, uh, you need to open with Google Docs so that it becomes editable. You can edit uh, and type in anything on this worksheet. Now, some might complain, I can't see that myself, it's too small. So on your end, at least you have your Chromebook in front of you, it presents itself well, it is much bigger, right? So you have this formulas here to, to guide you, okay? You just copy and paste the formulas if you need them for any given problem. Now, those who were in class with me, we started out with the problem solving, right? So the first case was when you have to convert the temperature to Fahrenheit. So Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the first one is done for you. So let's say you are given 10 degrees Celsius. How did I get the equivalent of 50 degrees Fahrenheit? So this is how we do things now in solving math problems in science. Always, I want you to write on given, required solution. Type that in. Now given is what you have in the problem. What do you know? So in this case, 10 degrees Celsius. So that would mean this is what you have here. You can also write this down as something like C equals 10. So this is your given. And what are you looking for? You are interested in getting the Fahrenheit equivalent. So F is S, 
and then write down the formula. F equals to 9 over 5C plus 32. Now, you might say, oh, how would I know that? So go on top and pick the uh, correct formula. You're looking for F, so you'd better just copy and paste this one, okay? So copy and paste. Let's go back to this problem. So F equals 9 over 5C plus 32. Plug in the values that you know. So C is given. It's there in the problem. 10 is the value for C. So what you do know is 9 divided by 5. Replace C with 10 plus 32. Once you've done that, then get the calculator now. And remember always bad mass, bracket, exponent, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. That means you have to deal with this first because we have here a slash or division. So 9, so on your calculator now, do that. So 9 divided by 5 times 10 equal sign. What do you have there? What do you see on your calculator? It should be 18, right? 18 plus 32. That would explain why you have F equals 50. Sometimes it's tough remembering these things, right? So let's repeat that on the second problem, okay? Now, as always, you need to write down given required solution, right? So given, what do you have in the problem? This is what you have in the problem. So type it out. So type C equals 30. Okay, start typing, okay? C equals 30. So you follow along with me, people, okay? Now, required, what are you looking for? You're interested in getting the equivalent in Fahrenheit. So you have F there. So pick the correct formula that will allow you to get the equivalent in Fahrenheit. F equals, again, go back. To your set of formulas, I'm interested in using this. So I'm lazy, so I'd better just copy this whole thing so that I don't mess up. So copy it, control C or right click copy, go back to the problem here, right? Control V so that you can paste everything back in. Okay. So once you are here, plug in the values, okay? So F now is equal to 9 over 5. Then what do you have for C? Under given, it is 30. So you type down 30 plus 32. How do you solve this problem now? So let's deal with this first. Remembering bed mass, right? So uh, division first. So on your calculators, what you can do would be 9 divided by 5 times 30 equals sign. So what's the value that you are getting? So here... Process that in your head. So F equals. So remember, we are trying to solve this first. So that everything is kind of simplified, right? Okay. I just put an underline there so that I'm not lost myself. So here, make sure you always clear out the. Uh, all the values on your calculator. So you say, type in 9 divided by 5 times 30 equals sign. What number are you getting? 
I heard that, so that's 54. 54 plus 32. Because this is what you have here, right? So 54 plus 32. F now equals 54 plus 32, I have here 86. Are you getting the same answer, people? That's are you getting the same answer? 86. Very good. So you just have to be very careful when uh, trying uh, to solve KFC problems. So this is a case of converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. You're given the Celsius, you're looking for the F. Now, I want you to do the rest of the problems here. Let's deal with another kind of problem where it is the reverse. Let's say 32. What is the value in? You do not know. So this is what is asked in the problem. 32 degrees, that's what you have. So again, type down given required solution. So given this is what you have in the problem. So you can say instead of 32F, you can say something like F equals 32. That's the value that you have, right? And you're looking for the C or Celsius. And that you don't know. But then what formula are you going to use? Again, go on top and copy this formula because this is the correct formula. There's also this one, but there's no K or Kelvin in the problem, so you will not use this. What you do have is a value on the F, so this is the right choice. So copy and paste this. Which I did. So you now have your 5 over 9 F. Oops, what did I do? This is now the formula that I copied. So Celsius is 5 over 9 F minus 30. Now, this is not different. Again, remember bad mass brackets first. So this is the one in bracket, right? So do this first. So 5 over 9, what is F? That's given in a problem, 32. Write it down, type it down. 32 minus 32. How much is that? Even without a calculator, you should know that. So 32 minus 32 is a zero. So C now becomes 5 over 9. Now what is 32 minus 32? It's a zero. Now remember, any number multiplied by zero is always a zero. So 5 over 9 times zero, the answer would be a zero. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the value is a zero. I could just go back here and put in the number zero. So this is zero degrees Celsius, okay? Or if I want to be more correct, maybe I need to put in the degree. But sometimes it can be tricky, and I'm okay with just the letter C there. But more correctly, you can just do it this way, okay? Zero degrees Celsius. So this is how we do this kind of problem from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we use this formula, okay? So give it a try with the rest of the problems and let's deal with another kind of problem involving the K, right? So Celsius to Kelvin, so here. Zero degrees Celsius, that's what you are given in the problem. Or you can say, oh, this is what I have. Celsius is zero. I hope I'm not too fast with you guys, okay? So Celsius is zero because that's what I have in a problem. And I'm looking for Kelvin. It says there, convert the following to Kelvin. So K, we're looking for K. Now what formula do I use? I go up again on top and try and just uh, select the correct formula. So here I have this formula. Kelvin is C plus 273. 
So I copy that and bring it down again to that problem. Right? So it's Kelvin is Celsius plus 273. Now, and then you plug in the values that you have. What do you see? It's zero. So put there zero plus 273. Zero plus 273, even without a calculator, you would know it is 273, right? So here, another uh, problem here, the same run of things, okay? So uh, I could just bring this down or up so that you can have a better look at the problem here, okay? So take note this is a negative number, right? So given, what do we have in the problem? C is negative, so the minus sign here, minus 50. Or you should say negative 50, right? What are you looking for? Kelvin is asked, right? K. Okay. And what is the formula? If you try and go up, copy paste, but uh, it's easy to remember, so I would just say K is equal to C plus 273, right? This is the formula that you have. Or you can even try and go up and try and see if you have the same formula. See, it's the same from here and here, okay? So this is the formula that you now have. Now. This is where things can kind of get messy or confusing, right? K is equal now to what is the value of C? It's a negative number, okay? So you have minus 50 plus 273. Depending on your calculator that you're using, how do you get the negative sign? So I said earlier, you can press the uh, plus minus key there. So I would just say there, negative 50. See, if I, I don't know if you can see it from here, maybe not, right? So maybe you can clearly see it there. Negative 50, correct? So negative 50 plus 273. What's the value? I'm getting 223. So the answer is 223 Kelvin. Okay? So that's it. And challenge yourself, Falcons. Try and do the rest of the problems. And I'm glad. I, I know we have adults in the room. The EA is there and the teacher candidate is there. And uh, I guess teacher might even be in class, right? So um, give it a try and uh, let's discuss this in class. That's it for me now. Ciao.